Hello? Hi, Mom. You want to know how to do what? Hi, Mom. The other day, I learned some cool tricks on how you can move pages from one PDF to another PDF. So let me show you actually two different ways of doing the same thing, and you can decide which is your favorite. So I've got three files here. This one is my 2010 tax return straight out of the tax software so it has no signatures on any pages. And that's got four pages in it. Here I printed out page two and signed it and scanned it back in so that's just a single page PDF. And here's my W2 which I scanned in so that's also a single page. And what I want to do is I want to replace page two in here with this signed version and I want to tack on my W2 at the end. In this way when I need to submit my tax return for loans or whatever, um, I've got a nice package I can send in. And just for my purposes, I've got, got everything I need for that year in one file. Okay, so the first way is I'll just double click on these to open them up. And you'll see they open up in Preview, which is a strangely named program because it does a great job of previewing lots of different file types, but it actually does so much more than previewing. Uh, let me zoom out a little bit here so I've got room for more. You'll see that whenever you open a PDF with multiple pages, you get the sidebar showing each page here. But when you open up a single page PDF like this one, there's no sidebar. Well, let me show you how to turn on the sidebar because we need it for the next trick. Under the view menu, there's a sidebar option and then show sidebar. And I'm going to remember that the shortcut is shift command D just to speed things up in a minute. Okay, so now you'll see it shows the one page in this PDF. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to drag this over right after the first page here. And it's simply that easy. You click and drag, and you can see this blue horizontal line that you can pop between any page here. I'm just going to let go after the first page. Now, I'll no longer want this one because this is the earlier unsigned version, so I'll just highlight that and click the delete key. So that's gone. Now, let me do the same thing with the W2, and I need to show you a special trick here because you can get yourself in trouble. I just did when I tried this a minute ago. I'll do a Shift Command D like I learned a minute ago. That's not one of the shortcuts I usually remember, but I just happened to see it a minute ago. So here is the one page PDF, and I'm going to do the same thing. But this time, I don't want to drag it into the middle. I want to put this at the end, and this is where you need to be really careful. Because as I drag it over, there's two ways it can show up. If you just see it here with a blue line, then it's actually going to basically show two PDFs in one window, but it's not really merging the PDFs. But if you go up a little bit higher, you'll see now the blue horizontal line is within this larger blue rounded rectangle. So now when I let go, I have created a five page, you can see here, five page PDF from what was three separate PDFs before. So let's see, I'm done with this, so I'll close that window. And while I'm here, why don't I just show you one more trick, which is, um, let me rotate this page so that it is, you know, easier to read like the others. So while highlighting this over here, see, I can go click on that page. I'm gonna go up to Tools and rotate left. So now it reads left to right just like the others did. So that's all there is to it. Now you can see you've got this little dot in the middle of the red 
button up there, that means this hasn't been saved or it's been modified without saving. I don't want to wipe out my previous 2010 tax return PDF file, so I'm going to save as and give it a new name here. So I'll add package at the end there. So 2010 tax return package PDF and then save that. And you can see here it showed up over here. Now I recently learned there's an even faster way to do this. Let me go select those three again and I'm going to do this by clicking on the first one and then command clicking on the next two. And once those three are highlighted, I'm going to double click on any one of them, it doesn't matter. And that will now, again, use the preview application, but you can see here it put each document in the sidebar. So here's the signed second page, here's the four pager, and here's the W2. So now watch what I'm going to do. If you hover over a multi-pager, you can see for one it makes it look like a like a little binder and it gives you this arrow. If you click on this arrow, it will expand it into all the pages within there. Once you've done that, you can do the same dragging except now the dr clicking and dragging is all within the same sidebar. So let me take this second page, put it right there. Let me click on the old second page and delete it. And now this W2 looks like it's in the right order, but when you drag it, you, you'll see that you need to move it inside that blue and gray background rectangle. Now this is the PDF we've created. You can ignore this top and bottom thing, which are the original one pagers. But here is the six or five page that I've created. So now once again, you can see that it needs to be saved. I'll go up and do a save as. And uh, I'll just name it package number two. And you can see I've created another tax return package two. It's exactly the same as the, the one I created in the first part of the video, just a uh, slightly different method. Whichever works best for you is uh, just great. So hopefully that helps. Um, you can use this for all sorts of different things. It doesn't have to be pages that you've scanned in. It can be web pages that you've printed to a PDF instead of printing to paper. Um, these could don't have to all be PDFs either. Some of them could be images that you could drag into a PDF. So, hope that helps.